Back, guys. Everything works good. You hear us? Consegue ouvir todo mundo? Estou ouvindo todo mundo, sim. Yes. Nice. All right. It's a pleasure to have you here today. A freaking legend. Uh -huh. And we've prepared some questions uh, from our uh, community that we would like to ask you. And uh, yeah, amazing Ready. opportunity. É um prazer ter você, ter você aqui. Eles prepararam umas perguntas para você sobre que não o pessoal. Sejam difíceis. Para o pessoal não vai ser tranquilo. Só que é um, é, um prazer. Boa, prazer é todo meu. He said it's an honor to be able to, to be with you guys today. Amazing. Cool. Cool. All right, let, let's begin then. Then we start yeah. with first question. Um, so we are here to talk about your slot that is going to be released soon created with Playtech and part of their Sporting Legend suite. What got you into a collaboration with Playtech on Sporting Legends, uh, Roberto Carlos? And what parts of the development of the slot have you been involved in? Bom, como você sabe, né, estão aqui para conversar sobre o jogo da Playtech. Sim. E qual foi qual foi o motivo, né, do porquê você resolveu se juntar à Playtech para poder fazer isso com o Sporting Legends e qual foi a sua parte nesse... Não, primeiro, primeiro agradecer a Playtech pela pela oportunidade de ser um pouco a marca da, da imagem da da companhia, enfim. Para mim é um, um prazer enorme poder é, contar para o mundo é, um pouco da minha história e ao mesmo tempo participar. Estou é, super feliz aí você evento que você quiser. Hum. Oh, I said, firstly, he wants to thank Playtech to be able to, to participate and to have invited him to be a part of this project. Um, he's very happy with how everything uh, has turned out. He was very excited um, about the opportunity and especially how successful Playtech Sporting Legends Game Suite is. So it was a privilege for him. Um, what part? Well, he had a photo shoot uh, with game producers at Playtech. And it was clear from the start that it was really important for them 
that he was part of the game development and that the game captured his personality. So for him, he had he had a great time uh, doing it and he really hopes that everyone enjoys it. All right, nice, nice. great. Uh, all right, next question. Uh, what were the biggest challenges for you when making this slot with Playtech? Você teve algum bom, algum problema ou alguma coisa que você teve dificuldade em fazer? Não tive, não tive problema nenhum. <laughs> He said no, there was no challenges really. Uh, it was in, just his involvement from the game design side as Playtech wanted to ensure that they captured his persona in the game. So for him it was just being himself and he had he had fun. All right, great. Um do you have any future uh, plans to create something gaming related with uh, your name brand included? Again. Se tem alguma se você tem alguma intenção ainda no futuro de criar alguma coisa nessa linha de de é, é, gambling, né, de é, de jogo, sim. A ideia é sempre evoluir, a ideia é sempre melhorar, melhorar e para mim seria um, uma alegria imensa um, fazer algo diferente como eles estão fazendo e, e seria muito bom para também para minha imagem me conectar a isso como está sendo agora. É, ele disse, definitely, because especially that it's just growing and it's just something that, um, that for him it's very interesting and it's always good to be evolving. Right, um, so it would be very good for his image as well, and yeah, he would happily do it. All right, cool. Uh, at what age did you, your family, realize that you had a, a special talent for football? Com quantos anos você e sua família vocês descobriram que você tinha esse talento para futebol? A partir dos 13 anos no Brasil, quando comecei a brincar com meu pai, já a gente se deu conta que a partir dos 13 anos eu tinha que melhorar e procurar ser alguém na vida. 13 anos. He said around 13 when he used to play around the ball with his father and that that's when they realized that he had the talent for it and that he could if he trained well enough he would be able to get a good career from it. A culpa do meu pai. All right. Thanks All right. to his father. Um how were your football training conditions growing up in Brazil? Was it easy for you to practice football every day? Or did you or your family have to sacrifice time and money to get you to play football? É, como, como eram as condições né, para você treinar nessa época? Gramado, como que era? Se a sua família teve que, que abdicar de algumas coisas para te ajudar? Enfim. Não, não, não. As condições eram terríveis. É, estamos falando do ano de 1987. Não tinha nenhumas condições de, de treino e meu pai se virava para tentar achar um lugar para que eu pudesse treinar. Então, não é como hoje que tem todas as estruturas. Na minha época não existia nada, era na raça mesmo. É, yeah, não, he said definitely conditions were not good. Um, he had to, to work with what he had. Uh, and obviously his dad really helped him. He would have to go and try and find somewhere that he could, he could practice and that he could, um, yeah, it's not that bad. Um, he's, he said, well, back then, he said around 1987 or so, it's not, it's not the same as today. You don't have the same opportunities as today. So he had to work, work hard to be able to, to find somewhere. Mm. All right. Um, when did you start to focus on playing football full time uh, and not pay as much as attention to education work outside of football? And did you have to convince your parents, family, to let you go for this opportunity first? Quando que você começou a realmente só só se só focar no futebol, né? Não, não se importar mais com o trabalho e ter só que fazer isso e e se você teve que convencer a sua família a deixar você ir? Ou se você... O futebol, o futebol é um trabalho. Mas eu comecei, eu deixei de trabalhar de verdade com meu pai a partir dos dos 14 anos. Aí só pensei em jogar futebol. He said, for him, football was, was, always, was always work. Um, but he stopped helping out his, his father um, when he was 14, 14, when he just decided to focus on football. And no, he said, there, is no, there was no need for convincing as, I mean, his dad was always like a big supporter and he always helped him with everything. So he was very glad to, to let him go. 
Um, at what point in uh, your career did you start to realize that you had the potential to become the world-class player that we all know and love today? A que ponto na sua carreira você começou a perceber, putz, eu vou, eu vou longe? Não tem como saber. Não tem como saber porque você começa uma carreira sem pensar no futuro. E quando você está no teu melhor momento, é muito difícil se manter. Então, eu não, colo não coloquei muitas metas na minha vida. Eu queria jogar futebol e, por sorte, deu tudo certo. Ele disse que ele nunca realmente percebeu, porque, no começo, ele disse que ele só começou a jogar futebol só porque essa era a sua paixão. E não era o seu objetivo ser o melhor no mundo ou o melhor em qualquer coisa. So he said, so in the beginning when he started, it was not, he wasn't thinking about how big he was gonna, going to be. And when he was actually at that level, it was very hard to maintain that level for so long. So for him, in his mind, he would never really um, realize that on his own, uh, besides now that he's, he's retired. And then when he looked back, he's like, okay, well, I guess I was, I was important. Yeah. Uh uh, all right. Uh, what were the biggest challenges you faced when you started to play for the big European clubs compared to the domestic clubs in Brazil? Qual foi a maior dificuldade que você encontrou é, quando você começou a, a, a jogar para os grandes times europeus né, em comparação aos, aos brasileiros? Adaptação. Acho que é mais adaptação de velocidade de jogo. É, tentar aprender com os, os mais experientes, enfim. É, mas o mais dif, difícil para jogar em clube grande é adaptar a cultura do clube. Você sai de uma coisa mais tranquila e você entra no nível top, pouco a pouco. Você tem que se adaptar muito rápido para ser titular ou para ganhar títulos. Ou até mesmo ser titular. Ele disse que era basicamente só se adaptar para onde ele ia. Um, obviously, it's it's different styles of the game here in Brazil. Well, here in Brazil, in Brazil, and um, in Europe. So that's that's the main thing for him. Is just uh, he said you have to quickly adapt so you can be in the first team and not being benched. So that was the main challenge. And it's not just coming to Europe. It's a different different countries have their own way of playing as well. So that applies to to every club that he played for. Okay. Um, if you had to choose your all-time best three teammates to play in defense with and three teammates to play in offense with, who would they be? Se você é, pudesse escolher né, os melhores três que você pode jogar na defesa, na defesa, na defesa, e também os melhores três no ataque, quem seriam? Fernando Hierro. Paulo Maldini e Fábio Cannavaro. E no ataque, Cristiano Ronaldo, Ronaldo e Zico. Oh, I guess I don't need to translate that, do I? <laughs> no, I don't need it, no. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, all right. Uh, who were your favorite teammates to share a dressing room, a uh, hotel room with, when you played in Real Madrid uh, the, and the Brazil um, national team? Quem era a melhor pessoa que você gostava de estar ali na resenha, né, no, no vestiário e também de, de dividir o quarto? Ronaldo e David Beckham. Ronaldo e David Beckham. Yeah. Ronaldo for Brazil, they, they did uh, uh, share a hotel room many times since the first time. I think he, I remember him saying it was around 1993. And David Beckham as well with Real Madrid, so yeah. Um, at what point in your career did you think you went from a top football player to a world-class superstar? Qual ponto na sua carreira você viu que você realmente saiu de uma de uma fase, né, e, e pulou para uma? Quando você tá... não, quando você está em atividade, não existe um momento que você para para pensar esse é o meu momento. Não existe. Você só se dá conta quando você deixa de jogar futebol. Aí eu posso falar que 2002 foi o top da minha do meu momento. Yeah, he said, well, whilst he's, you're playing, you don't really realize, is what he said in the other question, right? You don't really realize unless now that he's 
he's retired, he can look back and say, okay, I think 2002 was when he, you know, shifted and he's like, yeah, I guess now I'm a world-class superstar. Uh, did your life change after you scored arguably the best free kick ever versus France in 1997? And if yes, uh, what, was it, what was it like to have scored one of the best goals ever in football history? Eu quero em saber se, se sua vida mudou, né, depois da, daquele daquele gol contra a França. E, e se sim, como que foi? Eu, qual é o sentimento de ainda, de até hoje, né? Ter sido você. Não, minha, minha, vida, é, minha vida não mudou em nada por causa do gol. A única coisa é que eu tenho que explicar para o mundo inteiro como que eu fiz aquele gol e eu não sei como eu fiz. Well, he said, not really, it didn't really change his life, but now the problem is, is now that he has to explain to everyone, <laughs> how did he score that goal? And he has no idea. <laughs> uh, it was a crazy goal. Uh, so next question then is kind of similar, uh, but if you have to name one of the, any moments in your, in your career that you would want to be remembered for, uh, which one would that be? Se tem, tem alguma memória, algum ponto da sua carreira que você gostaria de ser lembrado por qual que é? Exemplo. Foi um exemplo de pessoa, exemplo de jogador e exemplo para as crianças. Isso me, isso me faz me sentir orgulhoso. He said there's not really a moment. He just uh, wants to be remembered for his example. Um, yeah. He really hopes that how he, you know, portrayed himself on field and off field uh, to kids and everyone else just wants to be, yeah, a good example. Os títulos, os títulos, os títulos são importantes. Jogar com grandes jogadores é, é, foi muito importante para mim. Mas essa essa imagem do Roberto Carlos de exemplo me já me me engrandece. Yeah, he said that you know, winning winning trophies and all that. It's that obviously that's very important. But what for him, like the proudest moment for him is just how he was as a player and that he's, he's happy that he can be a good role model. Yeah, that's nice. <clears throat> uh, next question is, uh, what's the biggest downside of being such a famous football player? Qual que, qual que é a pior coisa de ser, né? De ser famoso, de ser um, um dos melhores jogadores do mundo? Oops. Negativo. Negativo? Mas é... Quando você se lesiona, essa é a pior fase da vida de um jogador de futebol. He said, when you, when you get injured, I think it's, he said it's the worst, hmm. the worst thing of being a, a footballer. Yeah, I, I see. Uh, eu não machuquei, eu não, ainda bem que eu não machuquei nunca na minha vida. Não, mas eu acho que assim, a pergunta é mais ou menos é, qual que é o negativo, assim, sei lá, a fama, não, não, a lesão. Não, tem, é, mas não, tem. não tem privacidade, enfim. Não, 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 mas eu não vou falar sobre isso, eu gosto de fãs, eu gosto de, eu gosto de ter uma vida normal, mas a pior fase da vida de um jogador, na fama, é quando se lesiona e você tem que voltar do zero. Sim, porque você estava dizendo, regarding fame e tudo isso, ele não gosta de he he really likes his fans he he likes how as he was saying how he can be a role model and example to others so he that doesn't bother him about being famous and about being big um it's really just uh the worst thing is getting injured and then having to start all over and obviously mm -hmm. he, yeah of course uh who were the toughest players to uh, to defend against throughout your uh, your whole career it, Quais eram os jogadores mais difíceis de marcar? Figo. Samuel Eto. Ibrahimovic. <risos> <risos> uh, mas eu joguei também com os melhores. Eu marquei os difíceis, mas eu joguei com os melhores também. Ele disse que eram os melhores, mas ele disse que ele jogava com e contra os melhores. Sim. Slatan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who was your hero slash heroes growing up and who inspired you to be one of the best offensive backs in uh, in the history of football? Quem eram os seus heróis quando você estava crescendo? Quem que so, quem foi sua inspiração a ser um dos Branco, heróis? Branco, Branco Júnior e claro Diego Armando Maradona. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we heard. <laughs> um, well, next one is, what, what is your biggest regret uh, slash missed opportunity throughout your football career that you wish you would have done differently? If there is any. Tem alguma coisa que você fez e você acha hoje agora que você pensa, tipo, putz, eu faria diferente? Ganhar a Copa do Mundo em 98. He said, if there was anything that he could do differently, it would be win the World Cup in 98. Aqueles 53, 53 dias eu mudaria por tudo. He said, he would, those 53 days, he wished he could, he could change everything and win that title. Yeah, of course. Can you imagine? Yeah. Uh, what is your opinion on the uh, on the crazy increase in salaries and transfer sums and extremely wealthy football clubs in football over the past decade? Qual é a sua sua opinião que agora bom salário e essas é, tudo muito muito alto né valor de transferência essas coisas qual que é a sua opinião nesse tanto de dinheiro aí que está sendo cada um ganha o que merece cada um leva para o clube o que o clube merece Eu nunca vou discutir isso. Cada época é uma época e os jogadores hoje valem o que os clubes oferecem. And he he doesn't like to discuss this very much because obviously it's it's completely different um times, right? From when he played to to now. Now football it it, it is worth a lot of money. There's a lot of money involved and uh, he thinks that each player they they get what they deserve and I mean the clubs offer what they can. And if they have that amount of money, then so be it. Explica para ele, explica, explica para eles que os jogadores levam mais dinheiro para o clube que o clube paga para o jogador, tá? In his opinion, the, the, the players bring more money to the club than vice versa. Because obviously a club wants to have a big name for, for a reason, right? When the titles and that's where the money comes from. It's like a cycle. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Uh, who are your top three favorites for the upcoming World Cup? And who is the strongest outsider to potentially surprise and win the whole World Cup? Quem você acha os top três com, com condições de ganhar a Copa do Mundo? Brasil, Brasil, Argentina, Bélgica. E quem, quem você acha assim que vai, que vai surpreender? Surpreender? Futebol, futebol moderno já... já... Todo, todo, todas as seleções são iguais. Tá, então, mas não tem ninguém específico. Futebol evoluiu muito. Não tem, oh. hoje, hoje não tem... Top 3, Brazil, Argentina e Belgium. And he said, who, he doesn't know who would be the, you know, who would sneak up, but because he said that now, that the modern football, it, it, everything is just so, so balanced and so equal that at this point, anyone can, can surprise in the World yeah. Cup. Uh, what do you think your life would have looked like if you didn't uh, have the special gift uh, for football? And if you could have cho chosen any other profession than football, what would that have been? Como que você acha que sua vida seria se você não tivesse esse dom do futebol? E o que que você seria se não fosse jogador? Piloto de Fórmula 1. You would like to be in Fórmula 1. <laughs> <laughs> so you like Just... cars then? Eu sou pequenininho, eu sou pequenininho, eu caberia dentro do carro de Fórmula 1. He said he, he's short, he's small, so he, he'd be able to fit in a car, no problem. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, and our final question is, uh, can we expect to have you live on our stream again? And uh, uh, in the future, should you choose to release another slot with Playtech, you think? A última pergunta deles é, oh. você acha que eles podem esperar você para voltar aqui mais um dia, uma outra vez, caso você faça alguma outra parceria com a Playtech? Espera-me com os braços abertos. Wait for me with your, with, with your arms open. Oh, <laughs> he, he will come, of course. <laughs> eu, espero eles, eu, eu espero eles aqui um dia no Santiago Bernabéu também. He said he'll wait for you guys. He invites you guys to Santiago Bernabéu one day. For sure, that would be amazing. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> be incredible. Yeah. And uh, that was the last question, and I mean, it's been an honor and uh, a once-in-a-lifetime time opportunity to have you here today. And uh, we're all very, very happy. We've been so excited for for uh, for the time being until we we knew you were gonna come here and uh, and stream with us. So it's been amazing. Our chat has also been very excited. 
the whole community. They are sending the hearts in chat right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> É, eles falaram que foi muito lógico, um prazer imenso ter você aqui, muito, eles estão muito felizes e todo mundo ali no, no chat, ali no, no YouTube, no, no, no Twitch, né? Uhum. Então, tá todo mundo muito feliz. Manda um abraço, manda um abraço a todos, para mim é uma alegria imensa poder estar explicando um pouco como é o futebol. A gente vai ter tempo de falar mais sobre isso outras vezes e obrigado por tudo. É, ele só quer um big hug to everyone, to you guys, and to everyone watching. It's been a pleasure for him. He really enjoys talking about his life and about his career. He's for me? <laughs> That's no, you gave that to them. For you, for you. <laughs> you <laughs> sending it back to you. <laughs> we sign it and send it back to you. <laughs> he said that now he needs to give you guys the new one. Yeah. Only Roberto Carlos on the Yeah. yeah. Only, only Roberto Carlos. That you guys should only have him. Yeah. Um abraço para eles e obrigado. Yeah. He's just thanking, thanking a lot, and that um, it was great being with you guys. Awesome. Yeah, amazing to have you. Awesome. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, very thank much you so again. much, so much again. And take care. Best yeah, take luck. care. Much See love. See you soon. See you. See you. See bye bye. Bye bye. bye, bye. <laughs> Ciao. Can we switch overlay? Mm -hmm. <laughs>